guys war here welcome back to the channel today i'm going to teach you how to make massive amounts of currency using your sextons and rolling awakened sextons to make massive amounts of money so let's break down everything how to do it how to prep for it and how to go through the entire process because even though it's the most boring way to make money in path of exile i think but it does give you massive amounts of returns so let's go into this so the first thing is is what is an awakened sexton Okay, so an Awakened Sexton, for those who don't know, or maybe you're a beginner, it adds or re-rolls a modifier to a Void Stone. So the very first thing is that you're going to need your four Void Stones in order for uh, in order to do this. Now, you do get your Void Stones by defeating four major bosses. So if you don't have them, definitely go through and just you know pay for a carry get your friend to do it or do you know take the time and really try to get these four Void Stones. It really, really helps out. So... <clears throat> Once you have all your four void stones, the next thing is, is that we're going to have to adjust our Atlas tree. So when you come over to the Atlas tree, the biggest thing that we're going to change is these nodes up over here. It's going to be the Atlas Atlas currency chance all the way up to the most important one, which is the enduring influence sextons you apply to your void stones have one additional use okay typically when you use a sextant you're going to get three modifiers on it or when you use a compass to pull the power off you're going to get three modifiers or three uses excuse me so with that node on the atlas tree you're going to get four just like you see on the compass here with four uses remaining that is really what you want so you got to come change your atlas tree to the enduring influence so once you have your void stones all set, you got all four of them, you've come and, and changed your atlas tree. So that way we get four uses because they're going to sell for more and you get more just in case if you want to juice your maps. The next thing is the awaken sextons. So <clears throat> awaken sextons are going to add or re-roll the modifier on a void stone. Okay, you can get these from drops. Um, you can buy them. You can go on to the, you know, the, the ninja and just kind of look. They're trading for about... Um, six currency a piece right now yeah it looks like about six per so roughly six per if you just change it let's see if we can change the stacks here yeah it's about six per per waking to sext uh sextant um and then of course you're going to need some surveyor compasses so the compasses you can come over to captain curic you can come into purchase you can come get the surveyor compasses from him it stores the sextant modifier on an item these are one chaos a piece so we're just going to buy let's see let's uh we don't need 10 you know what let's buy 10 we'll buy 10 so that way we're in 10 chaos deep these are sextants i already had and these are ones that i've already rolled so you can do this right from your hideout so here's the key and how this works so you see how i have these modifiers on my void stones where it says maps can't uh contain an additional resonating shrine then we have some that are players and monsters take increased cold damage or this one where they take increased physical damage. And then we have the one that we're going to roll from. So from my understanding, what we're going to be doing is this is where it gets a little complicated is you want to use three of your four void stones as blockers. Okay. So what this means is, is that we want to put modifiers on these void stones that we don't want to get to pull from when we're rolling on our last void stone. So typically what you're going to want to get is one that has a resonating shrine or some kind of shrine effect. That way it blocks all of the shrines. We don't want those. They're not worth anything. As you can see from the, from the uh, POE Ninja, like they're worth five chaos. It's not even worth it. Four chaos a piece is not worth it. Next, we want one of the physical damage plus an elemental damage. It's going to help block all of that. And you can see these also don't roll for a whole lot at all. Okay, now how this works is, and I'm just going to re-roll um, this cold one until we get another one. You're basically just going to take your Awakened Sextant, you're going to right-click on it, you're going to hold Shift, and you're just going to left-click on this until we get another modifier. So see how we rolled it, changed it from cold to chaos? Now we have the chaos, and you're going to do that on each of these. You want one shrine effect and probably two elementals, okay? Now, <clears throat> next we're going to use our final Void Stone. And we're going to roll our sextants until we get a modifier that we want to rip from. Okay. And when we rip from them, that's going to be taking the compasses and turns them into these charge compasses with a modifier on it. So as an example, when I pull off the oils found in your map is one tier higher, the cost of building and upgrading and blight towers in your maps is doubled. So if I, if I go check the price on this, these are selling for 15 chaos a piece. 
<clears throat> excuse me. So for one compass, for one chaos, and you know, a few rolls of these, so let's say it took two or three rolls, you know, we broke even or we made money. Next, and another one that's really good is the Syndicate. These sell for about six chaos a piece or an Awakened Sextant. A really good way to see this go and change because of how much Awakened Sextants cost. If you go to the online and you change it to just Chaos Orb, you can see what these are trading at. So like the, the Immortal Syndicates are probably trading for about eight. Now, there's a few of them that are the main ones that we want to look for, and that is slaying enemies close together can attract monsters from beyond this realm. These sell for 75 chaos a piece. Big, big value here, okay? If not, even more. Then one of the biggest ones is these strong box monsters are enraged. These sell for 270, 280 chaos a piece, okay? And I got two of them. So let's go through this process and just show an example and see how we see what we can get. So we right click on our sextant. We're going to left click on the red void stone because this one's lucky. And what you can do is when you left click, like let's say, hey, I don't know if smugglers cash is worth anything. You can stop and just control D see. Oh, okay. It sells for five or six chaos. That's not one that I want. Let's reroll again. You can do the same thing on the Val. I already know this one doesn't sell for a whole lot, but until you kind of learn which ones are the best, you can just do that and just kind of take your time. So we didn't get another one. We got monsters are um, by a harbinger or company by a har harbinger. These sell for 50 chaos or 45 chaos. So I'm definitely going to want to rip this one off. Each sextant trades at six. So I use three. So that's 18 plus one. So that's 19 chaos. So just on this one, I made 25 chaos, if not more. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click on our surveyor compass. We're going to hold shift and we're going to left click and it pulls the power off and puts it onto our compass. Now you can see that there's no bonus here. Okay. Now I have this one and I can go sell it or I could use it in my compass when I'm trying to do some map. So now we're going to just repeat the process. We're going to see if we can get anything good. Now the essence ones are pretty solid. They just don't sell for a whole lot. So I know we're just going to go through identified maps is not good. Fire damage is not good. Cluster barrels. I'm pretty sure is only like five or six. Yeah, not even. So players mana recovery also not good. And we're just going to keep going. Okay. I know Val items isn't good. Monster packs is not good. Barrels is not good. Rogue jewels. I don't think I've actually seen this one. Okay. It doesn't trade for anything. More fire damage, more lightning damage, increased life. So I wonder why I'm seeing those. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trade this off chaos and put it back to lightning. And I'm going to try to figure out why I was seeing more elemental damage. Those should be blocked. So the maps have two additional strong boxes. This one sells for 10. If you wanted to, you could definitely rip this one off just to have it. It is a solid one to have. Monsters drop. We don't want that. The maps have increased quality. Also not very great. Now maps contain an additional Legion counter. Those sell for 10. But more importantly, I'm running Legion in my um, Atlas map. So this one's actually really good for me. So I'll pull that off. Not necessarily for value, but just for my additional runs. Uh, they drop an additional map. We can see that doesn't sell for a whole lot. <clears throat> Soul game prevention again. Convert. Monsters are enraged. Strong boxes for item quality. Again. 280 chaos we're gonna just rip this off that in and of itself pays for everything even if i had 30 all 30 sextants and i paid for them let's see it's about 85 84 um chaos for uh about 15 sextants so 30 of them would be 160 plus the 10 so that's 170 so this one sells for 280 so I already made 120 on this compass just by itself. And now all the other ones that I ripped off of it are all profit. So you can see how just sitting in your hideout, just rolling these sextant maps and doing these maps can just net you an insane amount of currency inside of, you know, 3.22. This is still a very good farming strategy. The thing is, is that awakened sextants are a, a pretty decent drop and you just got to get a bunch of them. Again, if you wanted to go in and just kind of see here, I can pull it up. Um, yeah, so like Sextant's 14 trade for about 85. I was just looking at the prices for the video. So let's say I wanted to rip another 30, 180 chaos. You know, I just made 280, so I'm already net 200 on there if I was to buy these 30, and I would just keep going again. So you can make so much value from just sitting in your stash or your stash sitting in your hideout just rolling sextants it's an insane amount of value 
And again, it's super easy. You got to have all four of your void stones. Get one shrine effect, physical, and then one elemental. And then you just roll the last one until you get some really good um, maps. Now, again, you can use these. What a lot of people do is that you right click on this and then you're going to shift and you'll click left click on each one. And it's going to apply the bonuses to your void stones for when you go juice a map. So that right there, guys, is how you roll sextants and make insane amount of value in your currency. I mean, right now you got what? 280 a piece. I got three of those. These trade for 75 a piece. I got three of those. So 150, 225, 246, 560, 720, and then another 150. So I have like almost a thousand chaos just in these six uh, maps, which is just absolutely insane. I've made way more than enough. I would definitely go back in, buy like 30 more sextants and just keep rolling. You can make an insane amount of currency, guys. So like the video, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, stay gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.